Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 26th through January 1st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. You can find the link for that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Aquarius. What's going on? Okay. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Page of Swords. I see lack of interest on your part on a particular situation. So that could be this page of swords where you're still kind of participating, but you're not putting your whole, you know, 100% in. Um, in the recent past, the Emperor, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. This is you feeling quite good in this energy. I feel like you achieved something here. There's that. It's very, very grounded energy. Very, um, like you achieved something tied up to the stability. Maybe you got promoted, maybe you started something that that kind of took off here because there's definitely a growth and it. it's kind of, I don't feel like it's sudden. I feel like it had some something to it where there's a little bit of background here, but it, it almost feels like you got to this point quite fast. Um, there's growth here, definitely on your side. And it is tied up to the material. So it's again, tied up to possibly your job something something you're involved in in the material feels good now in the current situation the eight of cups the two of cups the king of wands there's definitely lack of interest here on your side in turn or you know this could be somebody tied up to you it doesn't have to be you roles can be reversed as a reminder but um there's love still here there's passion I would say there was more than it is now, or the energy is still here, it's just not tapped into as much. So there's either an emotional disconnect here, or just lack of interest altogether in a particular situation that has to do with love. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, in the immediate future, the Knight of Cups, the World card, the Justice card. Yeah, there's some cycle coming to a close, again, has to do with emotions with love and it is looking like it's for the better uh not only for the one who's closing the cycle but for everyone involved so okay let's clarify let's see what's up let me see this page of swords <coughs> the eight of pentacles the three of wands the knight of swords interesting so there could be a little bit of a, how do I put this, where you've reached a stage within the situation you're dealing with where there's not much you can contribute with at this time, but it does look almost like you're waiting and then after, so I don't know if you're recharging or waiting for that time when, okay, I can come back in now. Um, Again, it goes back into whatever it is you're building or creating here in the material where it feels like there's a little bit of stagnation for now, but there's growth after, more growth. After, I don't know, after what? But after some time? I don't know, there seems to be a waiting involved. Let me see the emperor in the recent past. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Justice card. Okay. There's fear here, there's self-love, and then there's things coming back into balance. So that tells me that, again, it, it almost looks like your path to this King of Pentacles, whatever this means to you, which again, to me, it kind of feels like it's that place of you reaching your peak instability but it's your peak only for that time because it keeps on growing from from there on out um but getting there i do see some fear i don't see that interfering though but it could cause 
uh, all sorts of challenges along the way. You know, this is you just growing, just just kind of creating your empire here. And despite the whatever challenges may have appeared, you seem to be doing good there. Let me do the King of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. There's almost like an emotional detachment. That's why it feels so... Like it feels like growth. It feels like everything's taking off. Everything's working out. But in order for that to happen, you almost kind of show me, well, I have to keep my senses intact. My emotions kind of out of everything. You know what I mean? There's, there's a little bit of lack of emotional involvement in this. Even though it's there enough so that you could reach this point. It feels like it's harder without you getting emotionally involved. Could be one of those things where, you know, you had a goal, you, you set a goal for yourself and it's like everything else that comes through. I don't give a shit what happens. I'm going to pursue this until I make it. You know, and I feel like you did. But again, with a little bit of lack of emotional involvement. Um, let me see the Eight of Cups in the current situation. The Knight of Wands, the Strength card, the Lovers. And it goes back to this, whatever this represents to you. And it is tied up to love. It is tied up to your heart, to your emotions, to everything that you know, makes you feel, and it does look like it's a connection, there's still that emotional disconnect. And I'm not sure if it started from here, you know, they kind of tie up together, where you may have shifted your focus towards something. You had a goal here, you wanted to achieve it, and you may have shifted your focus completely on there. And you may have put this to the side, but now it's almost looking like it's completely to the side to this situation let me do the two of cups the five of swords the ten of cups the ace of cups that's the thing because i see love here but it's not here oh man it's one of those things so this connection that you've got going on with someone carries a whole bunch of love i'm not seeing that love coming through that's the problem uh, it's one of those situations where it looks like fake it till you, till you make it kind of a thing but there's nothing to fake because there is love here there's something deceptive about this there's something that's not tying together let me do the king of wands The Death card, the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. One of you is out, and I don't know who that is, but one of you is definitely out. It kind of falls on you, but it doesn't have to be you. Towards the end here of this whole thing, it kind of leans on them, so it's, uh, I'm not completely sure you know me. I would point you out if I would be more certain that this is you, but I, I, I don't know. But I do see one out. Um, they're struggling to be out, to stay out, but they're out. Still having a hard time getting the synergy here of, because the one that's in almost looks like they're kind of faking this love energy, at least for them, but the love is actually there, they're just not aware of it. So it almost looks like, why is this person in then? You know, if they don't feel it, just for the sake of it? <laughs> Let's do the Knight of Cups in the immediate future. 
Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. For the memory of love almost. I'm here because there was love here. Where the hell did it go? I want it back. It didn't go anywhere. Your perspective over it shifted. And that's what an emotional disconnection does. But it would disconnect from how we feel rather than from what's within the situation. We just don't see that. We're kind of looking like, where, where did it go? Where did love go? Nowhere, it's still here. You know, if we can't see it, it's because we disconnected from it. So the world card in the immediate future. The Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. I think you're the one that stayed. Um, there's something about this situation where I kind of, at this point, I kind of see you struggling through it in terms of you know you're kind of seeing that things are going south and then you're kind of trying to bring in something brand new to the situation so that maybe it still can work out but then you flip from that you switch from that what i would do here if i were you i would clarify with me how i'm truly feeling about the situation because i feel like that's where things are unclear and from that place things are just starting to kind of spin around here on you in terms of they look like they're going back and forth, up and down, whatever you want to call it here. You know, where you're almost giving me a sense that you're missing what was rather than figuring out what's still left, you know? Huh. Let's do the justice card. The Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Three of Cups. Okay, okay, this is a much more clear energy here that you're kind of showing me where you're figuring it out. As I said, I did see that there's still love here. It's a matter of do you still see it? Do you still feel it? Are you still aligning with that or are you blocked from it? And because of that, you can only see it in the past. And that's, you know, the one you want to bring back in that's why you're still in the situation. But then it's, it's kind of confusing in that way in terms of what do you want now? You know, and I feel like you're starting to figure it out or at least the energies are showing up as more clear towards the end here where you're showing me a, a sense of balance over you and what it is that you want. And you're showing me you kind of want this, you know. Um, that tells me that you're starting to open up to how you feel. So whatever happens from here on out, you can try, you can, but you can at least start from a, a clear mind space, a, a sense of clarity over what it is that you want, because you lost it a little bit here. And I feel like you lost it because whatever happened here in the past got your attention to the point of you forgot you have a heart and, you know, emotions tied up to certain other situations in your life. And because of that, I feel like you kind of want, ended up in a, in a world spin here. And, you know, very, very confusing. Uh, but you do reach clarity towards the end of this. So that's the most important thing. Because from that point on, you at least know how to deal with the situation. So let me uh, see what the universe has as a final advice. The Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Wands. Yeah, there you are. You know, building up to whatever your goal was there. It did come in with a sense of growth for you. So I feel like you did step into your power. You did work a lot on yourself. There's a lot of good things that came out of that. The only thing that um, kind of worked in your disadvantage, I would say, would be that um, you blocked off your heart through the process, you know, and you stayed up in your head in the practical, in the practicality way of being, uh, practical, practical bleh, way of being. And, um, 
You forgot how to, how to feel. And you lost clarity over what you feel. Exactly. Especially tied up to this commitment or whatever this is to you. So it's a matter of figuring that out for yourself. This one that's out, again, it kind of looks like they're having a hard time staying out. But I do get why they would be out, and that's because of your disconnection. You're out to yourself. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be out from yourself, too. So it's, again, get back to yourself here. And then this is kind of still up in the air. I don't see them out completely, but I do see them... Um, kind of stepping into the synergy where they might make it clear to you that they're out completely, but I don't believe them. Anyways, maybe they are. Who knows? This concerns you, not them. Yeah. So, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.